What's up MMA fans, it's Brian Green here from SmokingMMA.com. Thanks for stopping by and checking us out. This week we're going to run the technique of the week with 10-time UFC veteran Josh the Dennis Snare. Josh, thanks for joining us, man. Um, I want to do a quick question and answer real quick, man. First of all, just for uh, the fans out there to get to know you a little more, who's your favorite MMA fighter? Uh, my favorite MMA, MMA fighter is probably uh, Vanderlei Silva. You know, all his fights are exciting. Win or lose, it's always exciting. Like, I also like uh, Jose Aldo right now. He's a real exciting fighter. You know, some of the guys in the past, Jens Pulver, Pat Militage, uh, Spencer Fisher, Drew McFedries, you know, all the guys from MFS are, you know, some of my favorite fighters too. A lot of guys that like to stand and bang just like Josh does himself. Right on, uh, what's, your, what's your favorite MMA fight that you've been in, Josh? Um, definitely my favorite MMA fight that I've been in is uh, Spencer Fisher. It was a five, five-minute round um, fight, and it was back and forth the whole fight, all 25 minutes. Right on, man. Awesome. Next question, uh, what's your favorite kind of music, man? Who's your favorite performing artist or band? You know, I like rap, hip-hop, uh, Eminem, Kanye West, uh, Dr. Dre, Tupac, or, you know, some of my favorites. Cool, man. Right on. Awesome. And then uh, when you ain't got a fight coming up or you just get done with a fight and you ain't got to worry about cutting weight, what's your favorite food to smash? Definitely McDonald's and Mountain Dew. <laughs> McDonald's and Mountain Dew. Heard it first right here from Josh the Dennis Sneer. Right on. All right, Josh, August 14th is your next fight. Why don't you tell us about that? What's going on? Who are you fighting? Where's it at? Well, I'm fighting in a new organization. It's called Fight Me. Um, you can go to fightmemma.com and uh, you actually can get free tickets there. You just click on the free tickets. There's a convenience fee, but it's not very much, you know, five, ten dollars for a ticket. Uh, it's against Jesse Finney. It's August 14th in uh, St. Charles, which is a suburb of St. Louis, Missouri. So it's real close to St. Louis. Right on. Who, who are you fighting, Josh? Who's your opponent? What's he about? I'm fighting Jesse Finney. He's a six and zero. He's two and zero in strike force. He's a up and coming fighter. Uh, he's an older guy though, so I don't know how up and coming fighter he is. But uh, you know, he's stand up. He's boxed since he was little. Uh, you know, just uh, he's supposed to be good at everything. Most of his wins are actually by submission. So I don't really know much about him. I've never seen him fight before. Right on. Cool. All right, guys, for this week's Technique of the Week, Josh has finished Derek Noble, Forrest Petz, Mac Danzig, Melvin Gallard, all in the triangle choke. We're going to have Josh go and break it down step by step for this Technique of the Week of the triangle choke. So the basics to the triangle. The, fir the first thing I want to do is I want to have the back of his head, okay? If I don't have the back of his head and I just push the arm through, he's out of the triangle. I can't triangle him, okay? So I always want to keep his head down. Okay, I'm going to keep his head down and I'm going to put a foot on his hip, okay, and the opposite wrist. So if I have his head on this side, I have his wrist on this side. If I have his head on this side, I have his wrist on this side and I'm going to push off of this hip, okay. So we're going to have right hand on his head, left hand on his wrist, okay. I'm going to put my foot up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this through, okay? I'm going to push his wrist through. So I'm here. I push his wrist through. As soon as it gets through, I'm going to push off of his hip and push my head the opposite way. And I'm going to throw my leg over his, over his neck right here. From here, I'm going to lock my, go lock, my, lock my legs. So this is going to go in a crease right here. And I'm going to have my foot up. A lot of guys go like this, okay? It's going to be hard to finish if your foot's down. So I always want my foot up. My foot is flat, okay? From here, I'm going to grab the back of his head, extend my hips up, and pull down his head. Okay? So again, I have his, I have his head and his wrist. Put the foot foot on his hip. I push the wrist through. I'm going to push off and push my head this way. Push my head this way and my legs going to go crossed. Once I'm here, I put this on top. I keep my foot flat and I go here. Okay. Now one thing, say I'm right here. 
I got it right here. What I'm going to have to do, because I want it 90 degrees, I want it straight across his neck, okay? So my foot's here. My foot's here. I'm going to grab the back of his head and I'm going to unlock my legs. I'm going to unlock my legs and push off the mat. I push off the mat. Now I have it straight across. Now I lock it. Pull down his head and get the tap. One way to make it tighter, I can go here, I can sit up, and I'm going to go over both my knees. Now I'm going to keep my head up and pull right there. That's a couple ways to finish the triangle. Another thing I want to show you guys off of the triangle. Lots of times they keep their arm over, so you can't put their arm over and get the proper angle. Okay, so we're in this position right here. We push it through. Lots of times he keeps his arm over here. I can't, I can't finish him, right? Because I can't get this crossed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hips up to the air, and that's going to help me pull his arm across. Okay, so I'm here. I put my hips up. Now I pull the arm across. I take both hands, pull the wrist across. Okay, from here, put it across. Go to my triangle. So again, his arm's over, right? I'm in the triangle position. I'm gonna put my hips up. Now I'm gonna grab both hands and pull this over. Pull it over, finish the triangle. <laughs> Another thing that's gonna help out a lot of you newer guys that are just getting into trying the triangle is like Josh was saying, you got your head control here, you got your wrist control here. Opposite that you're grabbing the wrist, opposite foot is gonna be pushing off of the hip. Now, when I push this through, there's a real good thing that's gonna help you, you beginners that are working on your triangle and even you advanced guys. Start adding this into your game and you're gonna finish a lot more triangles. Is when I push this through and I push off the hip so I get my angle, as soon as I come over here, Josh was showing you come over to the top here. A lot of bigger guys, this is gonna help for you especially. When I push this through and I push off the hip and get my angle, the hand that I'm controlling his, his head with, I'm going to grab the shin. Now right here, I have him down in here. I don't even have to use his hand. Pull out of it, Josh. See, I have him controlled here. Now all I got to do is take my foot that pushes off the hip, come over, and that's a tight triangle. When you grab that shin, it makes it a lot easier to finish your triangle. So from the beginning, so from the beginning I'm going to push this through, push off the hip, like Josh was saying, get the angle, grab the shin with the hand that's controlling the head. This comes over, two hands on the back of the head, push up, get the tap. All right, everybody, thanks for checking out SmokingMMA.com. Keep checking back with us for more techniques of the week. Once again, we want to thank Josh the Dennis Near for this week's technique of the week. Thanks, Josh. Yep.